This video series is designed for impact investors and impact entrepreneurs. As many of you may be familiar with it, that uh, Gin iRace Plus has been a standard bearer in this space, and they have come up with a very powerful impact frameworks in various impact themes, and you can see some of them on the screen. Um, and the goal has been to really uh, provide this uh, cluster or theme uh, and in each of them, for example, in employment, you could be looking at things uh, based on their sub theme as well, where you can focus on the key elements uh, anywhere from um, a racial equity lens where you can create a jobs for the future, improving the rights and job security and so on. So, and for each of them, there is a sort of a set of metrics that has been defined and been provided all together. And you can view all of them on the website. Now, challenge, however, is that many organizations, funders are not really able to fully align properly with the uh, enterprise they work with it. And there are many different reasons. There's a video that I have created, and there's a, a term that is called impact measurement and management. It's really not working very well yet. Um, and I have also proposed different ways to improve these things. But this video is more about how you can smartly align um, your framework, uh, the need essentially of reporting between the investors and the uh, entrepreneurs altogether. So, uh, and also some very smart way to really uh, build that data collection practices be between the investors and in investee and within the investee and stakeholders as well. And it's a very powerful and it's a game changing approach. Now the key thing here is that there are challenges still, however, that even though we simplify the whole data collection and aggregation of the results, and we have a tools uh, where it's AI driven tools where you can design any cluster or data collection using uh, strategy and data and survey and bring the data through a survey um, and collect the data faster. And ultimately, you aggregate the results in the dashboard. Now, uh, one of the challenge, obviously, from investor's perspective is that once you bring it in, are you really able to make the right decision based on the data? That's the number of challenges. And we'll talk about those things extensively in a future video. But main thing is that what kind of a ag aggregation is needed? And oftentimes, many impact investors try to go and work with the uh, vendors that often has a click, uh, point and click type of systems where they define the portfolio, they align the metrics or catalog uh, and collect the data and put together the reports. But unfortunately, that's not what the most investors really want. What they want is a, a, a platform that is flexible that can help them aggregate the results from multiple sources and investments altogether. And that's why I will present these examples of the dashboards for portfolio of the results, aggregation by different sustainable development goal, um, maybe doing uh, the performance of the portfolio gender lens, uh, and ultimately also doing the due diligence process um, and then social impact uh, process where they can align each of the investee by five dimensions of impact. So it can be who, what, how much, and contribution altogether. And in all of those cases, it requires a lot of flexibility. We will also go through some of the very powerful ways to design this framework uh, using Gene R I I I this plus thing, but in a way that is very well way, way to simplify the data collection and also, will also how can you enrich that so that you can not only just collect the output metrics, but also outcome-based approach as well. So uh, stay tuned and uh, hope to see you in the next video where we'll start with the investor's lens first, and then we'll go into the enterprise lens and then also talk about how the alignment happens. So see you in the next video.